Hey YouTube, uh, my name's Kent, and today I'm going to show you a little bit of my Nepenthes. Uh, these are mostly seeds that I've started, and originally I didn't think that starting Nepenthes seeds would be a very easy thing, because all I've ever heard about it is that it's difficult and it takes forever. But I'm going to show you today that it's not hard at all, so uh, let's get started. So what I've got here are just some Nepenthes seeds. And these have been growing for about a month now, and I've got a bunch of little seedlings in there, and I have uh, some more in here, but these are different species. They're, they're just starting to germinate, and like certain spots you can see a little bit of green coming up maybe. Maybe not in the camera, but definitely for sure with your own eyes. And I've got all kinds of little things here. Uh, see a Nermis by Jacqueline, a Nermis Jamban. Ampularia, uh, another jam band. Let's see, what's this one right here? Another jam band. Um, there really aren't that many seeds in there, but uh, I kind of have two different methods going on. Uh, one of them is I take sphagnum moss and blend it, and I'll fill the pot up most of the way with sphagnum moss, and then I'll put the blended sphagnum moss in a nice little even layer on top and kind of like even it out, and then I'll moisten it and I'll add the Nepenthes seeds, I'll just kind of like sprinkle them on top kind of evenly and then spray them real good with a spray bottle and that seems to keep them nice and happy. Now the rest of these haven't been going nearly as long as this one right here and these seeds are also fairly prolific, they, they're the first to sprout out of all the other ones and uh, you can see the little cotyledons there, they're popping out. I haven't gotten any true adult leaves yet but I expect that to happen within the next week or two, possibly. I don't know. If you think it'll be longer, feel free to tell me. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited for these guys. I, I never realized like growing Nepenthes would be so easy from seed. They just require a little humidity, and I, I keep them in this $20 greenhouse I got off Amazon. Um, I have this little uh, humidity sensor. It's made using an ESP8266, and... Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, um, the refresh rate is kind of making it hard to see, but it, it gives me the temperature and the humidity, the high and the low, and then that's just a little counter of how long it's been running. But yeah, it sends the um, temperature and humidity to my phone, lets me know what's going on. Like, for example, this time of day, the sun's directly hitting the greenhouse, and th that's no good if it were to be closed. It would get up to 120 degrees in there if you let it. But, uh... But I got it open, and I even got this box fan down here on a Wi-Fi switch, so when I get a notification that it's above 90 degrees, I can press a button and it turns on the fan to air everything out. So that's kind of how I got my Nepenthes going right now, the, at least the, the babies. I'll, uh, I'll give you all a tour of my bigger ones later on, but for right now, um, yeah, this is, this is how you grow baby Nepenthes. It's super easy. There's like nothing to it. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching.